Hi, I'm Nick Bully from Magic Technologies, and I wanted to share with you a few new features in Revit 2016. By right-clicking on a view that's on a sheet, you can choose Open Sheet, and it will take you to that sheet the view is placed on. Another feature is by selecting several elements, there's a button here for creating a selection box. It'll create a 3D selection box around those items that you have highlighted. Revisions have a little more flexibility. So if I wanted to say I have revision 1A, I'm not locked into just having revision 1 or revision A. So I can come in here and I can modify the alph alphabetical sequence. So now it's alphanumerical. So I can type any letters I want. So let's make this revision 1A. And there we go. I can do the same thing with letters. So if I want to have, say, addendum AA. You just insert the new characters you want to have wherever in the sequence it falls. In this case, it's the second one. You can also add prefixes to these designations. And you can also have the numbering sequence start at zero. In Revit 2016, instead of having separate buttons for building element mode versus conceptual mass mode, now we have the option to run a simulation with both options available at the same time. There's also a button to show the energy model. This will show you the analytical surfaces for the model inside of Revit instead of sending it out to Green Building Studio to see those options. So now you can analyze your surfaces and see if you like what you're getting before you export the energy model for analysis. Also available is when you run the analysis or create those analytical surfaces, it'll create two schedules for you. One for analytical spaces and another one for analytical surfaces. The analytical surfaces is broken down by, by surface type or space type. These are two new schedule features inside of Revit. 